In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the tubing uh, bending indexer I created. Uh, I needed this tool. Uh, I'm creating uh, fuel blocks for the first generation power stroke. Uh, and to do that, I need to be able to reproduce steel fuel lines as part of that uh, product consistently over and over again um, so that they fit perfect every time I ship it out to a customer. You know, it's, it's not guesswork as to whether the fuel lines were bent up correctly or not. So I looked commercially. I could not find a, an indexer, you know, small tabletop like this. You could find them for bigger machines for bending up for roll cages and things like that. But for doing quarter inch or three sixteenth, three sixteenth inch uh, brake line or, or fuel line in this case, I, I just couldn't find anything. So uh, what I did was just uh, with scrap metal is everything that's uh, here, stuff off the scrap pile. I put this thing together. A couple things I had to buy for it. I bought a little uh, scroll uh, chuck right here from Harbor Freight. That was about $35. Uh, the tubing bender I have over here. I had this already. This was a $60. It's specifically for quarter inch tubing. Uh, I bought the protractor uh, wheel from McMaster. It's a sticker. Uh, as well as the tape rule on there, uh, also a sticker. So uh, how this thing works, uh, <clears throat> over here, your typical bending tool. This is going to give you your degrees of bend into the, into the tubing. Uh, and then to get the tubes bent up consistently every time, there's two other measurements that you need to do as you go through your, your bending process. One is to slide along the rule certain distance out before making the next bend, and then the next one is just to index it uh, the next degree off of where the last bend was to where the next bend needs to go. To do that, uh, it takes a little time, a little practice, uh, at bending the tubes up and getting them in there, but once you get it uh, nailed down tight, uh, you'll have built a little program. See if the paper can be read here with this particular camera. Uh, and all we do is just follow along, um, starting with a movement outward along the horizontal plane of about an inch and a half for this particular one. This is the driver's side uh, tube. And then we're going to make a bend at that point uh, at 115 degrees. We're going to move out again another two inches. We're going to rotate now on the protractor to 200 degrees uh, and then make another bend. So let's go ahead and, and start walking through that process over here. Uh, get ourselves focused back over here. So I've got myself set up where we're going to start <clears throat> um, is putting the protractor on zero on the dial. Pick some number. This is a 16 inch uh, piece of tubing. So the bed overall was 24 inches. So I'll pick a whole number to start with. I'm going to start at 10 and a half and I'm leading, uh, reading off the front edge uh, of, the, of the trolley here. Uh, and then over here the tubing is set on the zero uh, at this, on this dial right here. Uh, so that's my starting points. So uh, reading along the, the piece of paper here, I'll set that to the side, outside the camera's view here, uh, and we'll just start the process. So first thing it says to do uh, is come out uh, exactly an inch and a half. So loosen up the thumb screw, uh, come out one and a half inches, and that lands us right on, right on 12. Okay. And then make our first bend, which is 115 degrees. So we just follow this around. 115 degrees on there and then it says to move two inches so now I come out to the 14 that's two inches okay lock down the thumb screw and now I have to do a rotation to 200 over here on the dial so we come around to 200 on the protractor face right there okay make our bend 22 and a half come down 22 and a half Come out the next two and a half inches, come out 14, 16 and a half, that's two and a half, two and a quarter inches, I'm sorry, 16 and a quarter. There we go. And then we rotate to the 70 degree mark, so we come on our, loosen up our thumb screw, come around to 70 on the dial, there we are. Lock her back down, and bend at 22 and a half. So now we make a bend, 22 and a half, there we are. Come out one and a quarter inches, one and a quarter, that's uh, 17 and a half, that's where that lands us, that's one and a quarter inches. Rotate to 260 degrees, so we come ourselves around 260 degrees, right here, <clears throat> and then bend with confidence to 45 degrees, it says, so 45 degrees right there, and now move ourselves out three inches. So that's going to be 20 and a half from 17 and a half, three inches out right there. 
and rotate around to 150 degrees on the face. So let's come around now, 150. <clears throat> 150 right, right here. Lock her down, thumb screw, and bend at 45. And that is my final bend on this particular one. And you can see just that quickly, we can loosen up the chuck. Sorry about that. Grab the keys here. That is the final bend. Oop, pull this guy out. There we go. And voila, we are done. That is the driver's side. Let's bring it over here to the engine. I finished one up a little bit earlier. I already got it in there. I put the ends on it, the fittings on the ends. And you can see just that quickly. <clears throat> I've bent this guy up. He's a perfect match, uh, perfect fit every single time from the fitting at the very back of the head there to the fuel block up the front here. Let me set this one aside. Um, what's neat about it, uh, it fits perfect every single time. There's no guesswork anymore. Once you figure it out one time, you're done. Uh, real hard to see with the camera. Let me pull the camera off the tripod here and we can try to get a little bit of a closer look. Sorry as we bump around. <clears throat> but the bends are pretty neat. They seem simplistic uh, when you see them written out on the paper, but it actually comes off the fitting here. And this is a compound bend right here. It actually heads towards the engine first, uh, and then kind of bends outward and, and, and forward towards the front of the engine. It just runs a nice parallel line right against the block right there. Uh, don't know if we can see how well that is, but it comes out from a higher point away from the block, heads towards the block, and then just parallels the block real nice swings down and as it swings down around that corner right there it's actually heading in the direction it needs to go towards the fitting it's going to land on so it's heading forward uh, this bend again compound it's heading forward towards the front of the engine plus it's heading downward ever so slightly until it reaches the next plane and that next plane <clears throat> is this fitting up at the front here once we reach that height that plane then we make our bend um, which again is a compound bend. It's got two different degrees going on in there. Uh, one where it heads now directly into the fitting at the front here and levels itself off um, uh, to be able to ride straight into it. So that's all there is to it. Uh, the bending indexer, uh, reproducing these lines now for the, for this is uh, electric fuel conversion for the first generation power stroke engines. Uh, this is the block that I'm producing down in here. Uh, the steel fittings that ride into the back of the original uh, fittings at the back of the head. I have another video on YouTube that, that highlights, documents the whole installation of this kit. Um, so check it out if you get a moment, but there's the bending indexer.